17. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H is a regular octagon. J, K is a line of symmetry of the hexagon. So J, K is a line of symmetry. Angle B, J, G equals angle C, K. So these two are both equal 140. And we've got to work out the size of the angle K, F, E. So I'm going to mark in a little X to show you the angle we're trying to find. X. Now, as we've got symmetry, then X will also be the same as K, C, D. So I'll just uh, try and mark that in. So if we can find these two angles here, uh, and the angle at K, then we can start to get somewhere with a problem. Well, the easiest angle to put in straight away would be the angle at K, because you're going around a point. So take 140 away from 360. That one I'll do to make this question a bit easier. Is I will draw it out like this, and then we can put in all the angles we've got. So 360 subtract 140 gives me 220. So I've got 220 here. Now, we're saying that these are x, so we'll come to that in a moment. Um, but we can find these two internal angles y. They're the internal angles of a regular octagon. So the way to find them is you'll know you'll have eight external angles. These are the angles, so I'll call that z. So the external angle of a regular octagon is 360 divided by um, 8. So the little one on the outside will be 40. And so the internal angles in a regular octagon are 140. So that means we've now got the y's, so we can rub them out and put the 140 in. Uh, 140. So we're now looking at a pentagon. There's five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And for any five-sided uh, shape, the, you can work that out by doing three. Take away two from five. Three times 180 will give you the angle sum of all the angles inside the pentagon. It will be 540. So if we subtract from 540 the 220, and the two 140s, and divide by 2, we will have x. So that's our, remember we've got two x's here and here. So, 2 times 140 is 280, so you're taking away 220 and 280, which is 500. So 540 take 500 is 40, and divided by 2 gives me 20, so x equals 20. Now, if you wondered uh, how I got that 540 so easy and where the 3 came from, in any um, five-sided shape, so I'll just put another one here, you can only produce three triangles. Each triangle has an angle total of 180, so three of them will give you 540. And the rule in, um, for any um, polygon is if you want to find the angle sum, it's the number of sides subtract 2 times 180. That's probably the hardest bit of the problem, is remembering um, what the total of our five angles will come to. But hopefully you can see the rest is fairly straightforward.